member of the Bubba contacted our Facebook page and said that Minnie was in the middle of the road being attacked by birds. So the lady took her into her apartment just off Boot Road there and she called, anyway, we went up and got her and Minnie was about the size of your hand. She had hardly any hair, her tail was cut off straight with a knife, her bone of her tail was still showing and the really bleeding really heavy um she could like she couldn't really eat at the time she was still very very young she was getting sick on the way home in the car and she was just in an awful state the fleas on her were like the size of her her paw they were, they were eating into her skin and they were just awfully awful she, just, she had really bad mange then for a few weeks afterwards but she's recovering fine now and Minnie's vet fee is come to nearly a thousand euro but we had we made an appeal on facebook and the public were so generous um we couldn't have done it without them like so they people donate through PayPal and they also donate through a bank account or also our local vets up in the village then will take in envelopes for us and they'll stick it off our account then. We have an account with the vets in the village. People think of cats as vermin. Um and if a mammy has babies in someone's shed, they don't want them there. Like we get a phone call saying if they don't get them out, they're gonna kill them. They're gonna lay down rat poison, which would kill them. Um, where if people just got their, their, their fowls neutered, it wouldn't happen at all, you know? Two lovely girls from up in Hairlon um, found them there. It was Sunday afternoon, it was really, really sunny. Um, they had their front door open. So a neighbour, apparently, someone from around the area, came over and threw the kittens one by one into the hall. After they rang around a lot of people, they found Claire. They rang Claire. So Claire was like, oh yeah, no problem. So they brought them down here because it's where most of the cats go. Um... They came in and they were they were quite well fed in fairness. So they had got a mammy, but their eyes were very very bad with cat flu. Um, they were sneezing and the following morning their eyes were completely shut because of the the puffs and it's like it's very very hard on them. So they got brought to a vet. They were diagnosed with cat flu and they have antibiotics and um medicated cream for their eyes. So they need to be washed out with salt water two to three times a day and then need the medication two to three times a day as well. This is Daisy. Daisy was found, she was straying around an area up in Woodford for the past couple of years. Um, Neighbours were feeding her, but they hadn't got her neutered, so unfortunately she got pregnant. Now, we picked her up a day before she had her babies. So she had three babies here, unfortunately one was stillborn, but her two are doing great. They opened their eyes yesterday. Um, because she only had two babies, we tried her with these three, because these three had no mammy. Their mammy was run over by a car. So she took on these three as her own. She fed them, she cleaned them, she did everything with them and they've come along wonderfully. They also, she also took on this little baby who was found at the canal. She's okay. He was found at the canal the other day and she took her on as her own. So she, I literally put the cat here. Mammy picked her up there and brought her into the bed and started licking her clean. So she is about three days, four days old now. She was a newborn. She still had the umbilical cord attached when she was when she was born. Because I've been animal aid, I've been going for twenty five years. Um, Claire and Anne and Mary have been around that long. Claire and Anne have been main people the last twenty years. Um, I've just joined recently in the last year. So on a weekly basis, we probably take in between seven and ten dogs, um, stray dogs, and then cats. Mm, when it's not kitten season, maybe one cat a week. When it's kitten season, up to twenty a week. Like we do a trap neuter and release program as well, where if someone has a lot of feral cats in the area, we'll go out with the traps, trap the cats and get them neutered and put them back out again. Feral cats that are neutered are good for the area because they'll keep the rats away and they keep the place very clean and they won't keep having babies if they're neutered. So that's the ideal situation. But getting funding for that is very, very hard. Neighbours and people don't want to pay for it, they don't see it as their issue and there's not a, like we don't get a never ending grant or anything so it's really hard to get them to do.